Hi. This first program deals with the beginnings of body awareness and space. Well, I guess that sounds quite a mouthful, but it's not that frightening, and uh, I hope it sounds impressive. But you'll notice that I said the beginnings, because we're not going to be too concerned at the moment with beat and melody, but rather with the feeling of space and the body in it. Now, this program is rather special because we're dealing with children who are in their first year at school. And so here they've come into this vast area uh, where buildings are large, the ground is large, they're, they're going into rooms that they've never been into before, they're exploring the playgrounds, and they're really feeling themselves in this vast space. So what we're trying to do in these uh, music sessions is first of all to feel uh, th their bodies in space but in a more confined area. Find out what it feels like to move their arms and their their legs and their shoulders and and probably their elbows to discover more about themselves in space. And of course you know after they've been confined in a classroom sitting at their desks doing writing and whatever they've been doing they go out into this vast area outside and they the first thing they want to do is yell and jump and and use all that space so now in these sessions we're going to find out how to control this a little more but also make them more more aware of the different parts of the body that they are controlling and after this stage of course of course will come the beginnings of beat and melody so perhaps you have a look at how I worked with the children in this session and then I'm sure you'll get many more ideas yourself for working with your children. I know that I said hello to everybody outside, but now I want to really say a very special hello because I didn't say hello to everybody like this. Hello everyone. Hello. Gee, that's so good. You know, every time we sing hello to each other, I know that you're my very, very special friends. Which means that we can start doing lots of things using our, what's this called? Body. Our bodies. Because our bodies can do all sorts of things. But first we want to make sure Wait, where... Wait, jump up to the roof. We could try to jump up to the roof. In fact, let's stand up and see how tall can you be? How can you get taller? How can you get taller? Jump! Jump! jump. Let's see if you can jump. Can you reach right up to the ceiling? Jump! No. Higher! <laughs> Higher than that! Right up! And stop! Standing up tall, feeling the space above you. To feel taller, you jump. You'll notice that even though I use the drum, it's non-rhythmic because their bodies are not yet coordinated. And then when huddled up, they're exploring inner space and when spreading out, it's outer space. But again, the drum is used as the cue to stop, which is using the ears. So important for listening to music. But you know we've got all this lovely space to use, Sasha. Come back here first. I think that looks like a dog. Well, we've got all this lovely space to use, Richard. So let's find out. First of all, sit down and I want you all to huddle up together really tightly. Can you all huddle up together? Squash up. Come on, Sarah. Squash up really small. Oh, I can see a space there, Ian. And I can see a space there, Sarah. Squash up really tightly. Really tight. Dioni, there's a little space there. Squash up. Do you feel all squashed up? Yeah. Like peas in a pod. Now, when I bang the drum, listen, when I bang the drum, I want you to go and explore all the space. That means you can go up to that white line and you can go to the wall over there and you can go over to this wall and you can go over to that wall and you can touch the table. Mm -hmm. But if you hear, I want you just to stop wherever you are, right? Off you go. Now, let's see what your space is like. Can you turn around like that so that you don't touch the wall or anybody else? Oh, I think some people are too close to the wall. And they're still touching the wall. So, you might have to still find another space somewhere around here. I'm in a good space. That's a terrific space, Richard. 
and Ian's in a good space and Andrew's in a good space and now stop just where you are. Oh, Sasha, I don't know if you're in a good space yet because you're still touching the wall. You might have to come a bit forward, won't you? So that when you turn around, slowly, and your arms are out the sides, everybody stand up and just turn around slowly. And stop. Now we've got our own space. That's a good feeling. You know what? When I saw you with your arms out, turning around, it reminded me of something. It reminded me of something in my wash house that goes like that. Washing machine. That's it! Let's pretend that our arms are like the washing machine. And, uh-oh, be careful that you don't knock anybody else. That means you've got to be in your own space. Mm -hmm. Hey, what does a washing machine say sometimes when the water's in it? Mm. Swish, swish, wash. That's a good one. Let's all make our own washing machine sounds. Swish. They've made their own space, and in that space they turn around like a washing machine or any other analogy that you wish to use. But the important thing is that they then add an appropriate sound to go with that movement. So we have the beginnings of singing with actions. Please note how important it is that they all start together. Swishes right around and stops. And stop. You didn't get too dizzy, I hope. You know, some people were swishing, well, in fact, everybody was swishing around on their feet, but I'm sure that we could twist around or turn around on another part of our body. How else could you turn around? Josephine? On your bottom. Hey, that's a good one. Why doesn't everybody have a turn of swishing around on their bottom? <laughs> the tambourine what will you do stop, stop, stop. Stop. so you've got to have your oh, ears oh, 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 wide oh, oh. open no, no, no. and Richard's thought of another way of swishing around everybody try on their tummies <laughs> on your tummies <laughs> freeze that means nobody moves not even a toe moves now they're continuing the previous action but using another part of the body our children suggested turning on the bottom, another one suggested we free, and another one suggested turning with feet and hands on the floor. On your feet, and that's a good idea, you can swish around like that. Let's see if everyone, I don't know if I can do that, go around on, oh, but I've got to find my space first so I don't knock anybody. Oh, that's a good one. Everybody try on their feet and hands. Alright, now that we've had a turn in our own space, let's curl up really small. As small as you can, just in your little space. Curl up really, really small. As small as you can. Oh, I can see some legs sticking out. And I can see some... Can I see an elbow sticking out? No. Everybody's curled up so small. But if we wanted to stretch out slowly, then I'd see your hands and your feet and your heads and your fingers so that you are all stretched out. As stretched out as you can be, like a piece of elastic. Stretch out like a piece of elastic, but all of a sudden somebody lets the elastic go curls in again. All right, sit up just where you are so that I can talk to you. Well, let's see just where we are now. Wherever you are, stretch, 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 as far as you can go, as far as you go. Gosh, if I stand up, I can stretch even further and my fingers feel so stretched, but if somebody lets it go, I go kick. We are extending the stretching and feeling tall by adding time. It can be a slow stretching up and fast recoil or the other way around. And rolling is another way of experiencing space, but this time on a lower level. Curl up and off you go, rolling around like a tiny little ball. <laughs> and stop where you are. And come over here near me. Jack in the Box is another example of sound fitting the movement. And this brings all the elements of today's class together. A mini box, a very, very mini box. 
You ready? Somebody say, ready, ready set, set, go! <laughs> what popped out? A dragon ball. It sure did. And if I want to put him back in, I'll have to go... Put the lid on. But what were we saying when we jumped up? What did we say? Pop, pop, pop. Or when we snapped our piece of elastic, we said... Pop, pop. Would you like to be ready to say pop when he jumps I, out? Yeah. You ready? Jack in the box, that's an idea, but now we'll just say, yes, Sarah. Ready? The box is closed with all the sticks here, and then we pop it in. That's right. First, I want you to watch because then you can be just like the Jack in the box. Ready, set, pop! pop. Right! And now, let's push him down. But when we hear him go down, when we watch him go down, he's going to go. I didn't push him down far enough, did I? <laughs> all right, could we all go... Ooh, and in. All right, are you ready to pop out of your box? You ready to pop out of your box? All right, listen. Jack in the box, still as a mouse, deep down inside his little dark house. When I open the lid, he goes... you are a real a pretend jack in the box that suddenly became alive you could pop all over the room <laughs> oh, stop where you are stop where you are is this a pop 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 no i think a jack in the box would go like a lid. Jack in the box, still as a mouse, deep down inside his little dark house. Will you come out? I don't know. Will you come out? No, I won't. Stay down in your little house so we can have just a little rest.